But I'm gonna talk about unlocking the Great Lakes. You know, obviously, um, you know, being from Michigan, I spend a lot of my time on the Great Lakes and it's by far uh, probably one of my favorite fisheries in the country, no doubt. And, uh, you know, coming over here to Toronto, uh, you know, I fished the, uh, the Kingston Open, uh, I guess it was two years ago. Uh, you know, I'd love to, hopefully, I'll get a chance again to come back and, and fish it again this year. I'd love to. Uh, it's it's one, of the, one of the coolest tournaments that I've, that I've uh, had an experience and, uh, you know, privilege to fish. So, um, and yeah, not to mention Lake Ontario is one of the best smallmouth fisheries on the planet. So hopefully we get to come back. So I figured it was only suiting that I, I talked about fishing the Great Lakes and I'm gonna talk about um, a couple of the different ones and, and uh, some of the things that I like to do and uh, the things that I do to prepare to go out on the Great Lakes. So the first one is I'm gonna talk about is preparation. And I mean, what I mean by that is boat preparation, obviously, the Great Lakes are, you know, they can get nasty and they're not, I mean, bass boats are not made to, to handle, uh, you know, some of the things that, that you see on the Great Lakes. You know, you get days out there where you, you get, you know, six, seven footers, or I've been out there on days where there's 10 footers and I've seen many a sunk boats like this one on the, on the right here. The first thing, uh, you really got to beef up your equipment. Um, you know, my trolling motor, your motor guide trolling motor, I do a couple different things to it. Uh, to make sure you know that's not going to fall off the front if you you know hit a wave or something like that. Um, you know most most people or most factory uh, rigging uh, when the trolling motor comes they usually only have you know four to six bolts in there and they use uh, you know kind of small you know washers up underneath to bolt it to the front. I use uh, I use eight bolts or as many bolts as I can fit in there pretty much and I use giant fender washers up on the inside so it has a lot of surface area. Um, you know, where the, the trolling motor, the bolts aren't going to pull out of the fiberglass of the bow. Uh, I also use the, oh my, there's my laser pointer, uh, the TH Marine Troll Tamer, which is going to lock the head of that unit um, basically to the floor. So it's not going to shake, it's not going to, it's not going to bounce, it's not going to do any of that. You also uh, want to use a strap to, to strap that down. And, um, you know, so the, the actual uh, foot or the, you know, the mechanism that, you know, propels the boat or is uh is locked down too so the more that bounces you know you'll break a magnet uh you know or a brush or something like that and you get to your spot and you get out there and your trolling motor doesn't work so what to look for uh on the great lakes you know it's just one of the the biggest things obviously um and there's there's so much different stuff out there uh you know that are hold these fish but you know you think it, obviously the great lakes they're huge they're vast you know where do you start um you know, obviously there's a lot of islands, there's a lot of ledges, there's a lot of, you know, offshore reefs, there's rock piles, stuff like that. And that's what, that's the kind of things you want to look for. Um, you know, first and foremost, obviously the bait fish, you know, if the bait fish really aren't there or the forage isn't there, the bass aren't probably typically going to be there either. Um, and then you've got the offshore reefs, which just about every Great Lake has. Uh, aside from Lake St. Clair, there's really not a whole lot of anything out there, to be honest with you. Um, you know, rock piles, obviously, uh, you know, everybody knows looking for rock piles on like Lake Erie or Ontario or something like that. Um, what I look for in a rock pile typically is something that's isolated, you know, or, or something that's different, you know, somewhere like, uh, you know, you go to Thousand Islands in the St. Lawrence River and mouth of Lake Ontario, there's, yeah, there's a lot of rock around there. Um, but you'll notice a lot of it is kind of that slab, slab rock kind of stuff. Uh, especially once you get farther up the river. So finding those areas where there's a lot of broken up chunks and that kind of thing, you know, something that's different. You, I use my uh, electronics to find that. I have Humminbird, uh, you know, I use the side imaging, uh, down imaging, stuff like that to be able to find these key areas. Um, the current breaks, like I talked about earlier, uh, the last slide there, um, based on the current and stuff in the, in the lake, the natural current that it, it creates these current breaks that, you know, again, you can't really see them. Um, you know, but if you ever fish Lake St. Clair on one of those days where it's flat, calm, the wind's not blowing or anything like that, you know, and the boat still naturally moves quite a, you know, quite a bit. That's a good question. So uh, leader length, um, typically on, on, the, on the Great Lakes especially, I like to run a little bit longer leader, uh, you know, usually 14 to 18, you know, 20 inches, something like that. And I always use, whether even if it's shallow or deep, I always use a 3 8 ounce, uh, 3 8 ounce weight. 
Um, I want that bait to maintain contact with the bottom and I want, you know, and with the braided line and in uh, the rod and, and that kind of thing, it, it's ultra sensitive. So, um, you know, you want to be able to feel everything, you know, especially, you know, I, I want to be able to feel if the weight. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.